This video demonstrates how to change the filters and perform a service on your Aquasmart reverse osmosis system. Turn off the water and isolate the reverse osmosis by closing the saddle valve. Please note that this demonstration uses a reverse osmosis system with no water. Your system will have water in the tubing and filter housings. Disinfect your hands before replacing the filters. Take off the first pre-filter, which is the sediment filter. Unscrew the filter housing. You may need to use the wrench provided. Take out the old filter. Use a food grade disinfectant such as Milton fluid to disinfect the filter. Clean the filter housing with a clean cloth. Remove the new filter from the packaging and insert into the filter housing. Make sure that the filter sits correctly onto the RO unit. Screw on the housing tightly using a wrench. Next, remove the loose carbon filter. As before, remove the old filter. Clean the housing with a cloth and use a disinfectant. Insert the new filter and screw on the housing. Tighten with the wrench provided. Next, replace the third carbon filter. Remove the old filter. Note, it is important to check that the black rubber seals are lined up correctly in all filter housings. Clean and disinfect the housing as before, insert a new filter and tighten. Next, replace your taste and older filter. If your connections have blue fasteners, you will need to remove them before disconnecting the tubing. Remove the tubing from both ends of the old filter. Note that you may have push-in fittings on your filter instead of the screw-in type. Unscrew the fittings from both ends of the old filter for reuse. Apply PTFE tape onto the screwed fittings. Remove the packaging from your new filter and screw on the fittings. Clip your filter in place. Replace all tubing. Remember to replace the blue fasteners if your unit has them. As part of replacing your filters, you should also service your pressure vessel. Close the valve at the top of the pressure vessel, remove the tubing, empty the water from the vessel into your sink by opening the valve. Note the water will be pressurized. After emptying the pressure vessel, screw off the valve. Disinfect the vessel by squirting the disinfectant into the valve opening. Finally, screw the valve back onto the top of the vessel. Next, check the pressure in the pressure vessel. You can use any standard car or bicycle pressure gauge. Your pressure should be 8 to 12 psi. If your pressure is low, use a car or bicycle pump to increase the pressure. Every two years, you need to replace the reverse osmosis membrane. Remove the tubing from the end of the membrane housing. Remove the cap from the end of the housing and remove the old membrane. Clean the housing with a cloth and sanitize with a disinfectant. Remove all the packaging from the new membrane. Some membranes have black caps on either end. Remove these. One end of the membrane will have two black o-ring seals. This end of the membrane should be inserted first. Make sure that the rubber seals stay in place. Screw on the housing and tighten. Reattach the tubing. That completes your reverse osmosis service. Service is the same on both pumped and non-pumped models. Thanks again for shopping with water to buy.